in the previous video I already explained you on the blackboard about uh, what is loop and uh, different kinds of loop and what is the use of loop. Now loops could be classified into two types of loop that is uh, entry control loop and exit controlled loop that we will discuss uh, in detail with uh, practical examples fine. Then I taught you on the blackboard what is for loop and uh, what is while loop. Do while loop is an exit control loop I do not remember whether I taught you that thing or not if yes or no it does not make any difference I will uh, teach you in using the computer C language program also. Now in this video I am going to explain you all these programs which are given in the textbook ok. So, this first program is to print asterisk, asterisk sign for 5 times ok. Fine, uh, before I start C language program let me see what is there the next thing. Then the syntax of for loop is given. Uh, sorry the flow chart and syntax both the things are given here that you can understand on your own also fine. So, without wasting time I start uh, turbo C plus plus now first thing is clear screen. Now, this much is already ready with us program to illustrate simple for loop statement. include studio dot h, include conio dot h, void main, curly brackets open, clear screen. Now, here in this example we want to print a trick 4 5 times. So, we have to run the loop 4 5 times and for learning, running the loop we declare a variable named count. What is the data type of that variable? integer int. So, integer count you can take any name it does not matter. Now, we assign the value 1 to count and next is count is less than or equal to 5 semicolon and to uh, we put here count plus plus to run the loop we need increment or decrement operator. Now, here we put a printf that is asterisk and we leave space before and after asterisk so that it looks decent. We close the curly bracket and get ch is already ready fine. Now, I run the program errors it is showing me errors what is the error here try to find expression syntax in line number 8 I have committed a mistake in expression syntax c o u n t c o u n t count is equal to 1 count less than or equal to 5 I have forgotten to put 5 fine. So, now I run the program. So, you can see that uh, asterisk is getting printed for 5 number of times. Now, if you want to print the asterisk on the whole page, then instead of 5 you can run the loop for 1000 times. So, I, run, uh, I put here less than or equal to 1000. So, here you can see asterisk on the whole screen, right. So, this is also possible. Fine. Now, I keep it uh, 10 only just now. Now, as on and the blackboard I taught you 
<coughs> some things that is uh, if you want to print asterisk in new line then slash n right so same thing <coughs> practically i am doing and showing you you can see 10 asterisks are printed in 10 different lines now in place of asterisk if you want to print the value lying in the variable count that also you can do percentage d comma name of the variable So, then it will print the values lying in count. You can see the value was 1, then it became 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, that is it. Now, we come to a difficult topic. This easy topic is over here. That is a nesting of loop. Okay. Now, here you have seen the output that uh, you can print one uh, either the thing vertically or horizontally either you can print 1 to 10 vertically like this way or you can print it like this way that is horizontally right if you want to print the digits in both the ways horizontally also and vertically also then you need to run two loops and that is known as what is it known as nesting of loop so here i am going as per the textbook program to illustrate nested for loop okay that's it now as per the textbook i am declaring the variables name also i am keeping the same I declare the variable i, j and lines. Now, actually why they have taken this uh, lines variable I do not understand. There is no need to take this third variable and getting confused. Two variables are enough to run this thing. Fine. So, we take two variables. Now, first variable i is equal to 1. I instead of count I will make it i less than or equal to 10 and i plus plus simple. If I print the value of i let us check it will print 1 to 10 okay. in a single line right fine. Now inside this loop if I want to put another for loop then inside this curly bracket I type 4 j is equal to 1 this loop how many number of times I want to run if I want to run it for 10 number of times ok same then what will happen just see j plus plus Okay. Now, this loop is also running for 10 times and inside this loop we are printing the value of i you can see here right we are printing the value of i inside j loop. Okay. After this loop gets over we want to print a new line. So, print f double quotes slash n. Now, I run the program. Now, I have made some mistake and uh, that is why what you can see here is that the loop is running for infinite number of times. This topic is discussed at the end of the chapter. Okay. So, in such circumstances if uh, this thing goes on and on then that thing is known as infinite loop fine so i will uh, check the error and uh, do the needful in that case so now i have removed the error whatever error was there now we check the output 
So, here you can see that we are able to print the thing horizontally also and vertically also. You can see it here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 times it has got printed. How does this thing happen? Try to apply your logic. This time I am not explaining you how does this thing happen or shall I explain what to do? Fine. Now, in place of j, if I print the value of i, what happens? Just check. Then it printed 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay. And at last 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Now, I will explain you how does this thing work. Loop starts from here for i is equal to 1. Is i less than or equal to 10? Is 1 less than or equal to 10? Yes. Then go inside this curly bracket and do the next statement. What is next statement? j is equal to 1. Is j less than 10? Yes, it is less than 10. Then do the thing which is given under it. What is given inside it? That print the value of i. What is the value of i? 1. So, it will print 1. Then it will like come out of this curly bracket and add the value of j. It will not go straight away to the i j plus plus so j is equal to 2 is 2 less than 10 yes what to do print the value of i so second time it will print in the same line 1 and till 10 times it will go on printing 1 1 1 1 1 got it now the value of j will become 11 is 11 less than 10 no so it will not print the value of i and it will come out of this j for loop and it will print this statement print less n. So, it will print a new line. So, after printing the first line of 1 1 1 1 1, it will go to the next line, again execute the same thing and print the next line. Fine. Now, you can open your page number 273. You can see that the output is printed in a, tri a triangular form. Okay. How is that thing possible? That has been possible like this way that here we have keep, kept the value of uh, this uh, controlling the j loop as 10 that is fix. Okay. But in place of keeping it fix, if you want to vary it that for the first time it will be 1, second time it will be 2, third time it will be 3, then you can use the value of i here. So, j is less than or equal to i and if you do like that way then it will print the output like this way. Are you getting my point? Okay. Now, in textbook they have not explained this thing in this much detail, but I hope by my explanation this concept is clear to one and all. Now, in place of i, I print the value of j, then it will print like this way. Okay. Fine. Now, we come to the next example and uh, that example is up, uh, using two variables at the same time in the loop. Okay, so, I have to open a new file, my cursor is not working, so I will make changes here. This is DOS based program, so it may create some problems. Okay, here we are using single for loop. We are not going to use 2 to 4 loops, only single for loop. But what we are going to do here is that we are going to use both i and j, both the variables together. i is equal to 1, j is equal to 10. Now, what I am teaching that uh, you can see the output on 274 page number, that type of output we want. So, we are doing this program i and j. Now, we want to print 10 lines. So, we put 10 here, we increase the value of i by 1 and j value we do not increase, we go on decreasing the value of j by minus 1. Now, we will print like this way percentage d space plus space percentage d space is equal to space percentage d. So, 
like this way in less n we are printing the val uh, values of three different variables which are those three i comma j and combined value of i plus j so here i put i plus j fine program is over here I remove the sold printf I run the program so we get the output something like this way that 1 plus 10 is equal to 11 2 plus 9 is equal to 11 right so here what have we done we have increased the value of first variable and next variable values we have decreased so it is again making the sum 11 only in your textbook uh, sum is 10 so you can keep it as 10 also whatever it doesn't make any difference fine this is dos based program my that thing went away now no issue one more thing in the previous uh, double for loop which we had run that is this one okay in that in your textbook they have taken third variable as lines if you notice what is the use of that variable lines do you know here i have kept uh, 10 that run, run the first loop for 10 number of times but you can take the value from user also that how many number of times you want to run the loop enter number of lines so whatever user enters the number of lines that many lines will get printed okay so like this way now here it will take the value from user enter the number of lines now i enter only five then it will print five lines so like that way it is given in your textbook but uh, i explained you from the simple point of view and then we went to little bit hard point of view so we complete this video over here please don't forget to like the video the next video i will be teaching you about uh, while loop and uh, do while loop and etc etc